Hey there, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask that we can get our hands on. Today we are looking at the brand Mask C. Beautiful brand. This is their kids mask. We just had their adults mask and uh, it failed standards miserably. But holding out hope for the kids mask because a lot of times they're using different factories in China for different parts of their at uh, different sizes of the product. So this could be this could be better. Let's see. Let's get it in the clamper and see what happens. So I don't like the way that they're doing this seems like a really this is a really beautiful barrier bag right off the top. But look at this. I can just open it up. Now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to seal this uh, with an L bar sealer. That gives you the consumer when this arrives, you know that no one's got their dirty little hands in there. And that's not the case here. So I, I don't like that. It's one of the reasons why we package all of our masks inside of a clean room and it's actually sealed so that no one can get into it after that fact. I like this color, this black. And let's get it in the clamper. Now again, this is their kids mask. We just looked at their adult mask, which did fail standards. All right, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you wanna find out more about the particulars of this, I'm gonna put a link up there, but the quick version is that we are doing the N95 test here. I know, this is a KN95. Why would we do an N95 test? Well, because we are in the United States, we're gonna hold them to American standards. That said, it turns out, if you read the 50 page, 57 page document for KN95s, you'll find out that they have the exact same test. So I'm actually also doing the CAN95 test. It sounds cooler if I say N95, doesn't it? All right, so the kids black CAN95 10 pack, these are $3.60 a piece. They're claiming to be CAN95s, but you can tell just by the listing that they're already lying to you. This is not a legitimate CAN95. I'll talk about that in just a second. Let's look at the actual bag itself. CAN95 kids pieces. They do have made in China in tiny, tiny, tiny letters, which I, I, I just dislike when brands try to hide from you what they're doing. This is requirement by the Federal Trade Commission that you have on every package that you send a country of origin. So they're barely making that requirement there. That just irks me a little bit. And look at these tiny, cute little face masks. Um, okay, so I mentioned something a second ago that I knew right away from the picture that this was a fake CAN95. How could I tell? Well, if you're just seeing this channel for the first time, uh, it's three things you look for. Number one, you gotta say KN95 on the mask. It's part of the standard. They did that, good job. The second thing is you need to say the standard name. Because the standards are kind of like, um, you know, uh, years of wine. Like they come out in different years. And so uh, the last year of the KN95 standard was 2019. And so what you need to see on here is GB2626-2019. You also need to have the manufacturer name. Now, you could put mask C, but we know they're not the manufacturer, um, or at least that would be very unlikely. Technically, you have to have the actual manufacturer's name. Why is that important to have all these things? This is a medical product. It's made to basically save your life. And so because of that, it has a lot of, it's a high bar for, for making sure that it's protecting you. And when you put it on, before you put it on the Chinese standard, they want you to be able to see who's making the thing so that you know if you can trust them and what standard that you're gonna be holding them to. They don't have any of that. They're robbing you of that. And, and also I have found that when a brand doesn't do these really simple things, the machine calls them out on it. I'm gonna do a quick test. The Dalt masks, the ear loops were just some of the worst ear loops I... <laughs> That's a new one. The double top, that's interesting. I mean, think about it. Like kids more than anybody, I mean, I've got five kids. They tug on stuff when it's on their face. So granted, my face is a little bit larger, but the kid's gonna, you know, do something like this and it's gonna break off their face. And a mask isn't good, it won't protect you if it can't stay on your face. So this is actually like part of the protection standard. Let me do a, a smell test real quick, if I can get it to stay on my face. This smells exactly like the adult mask. It's like a, a, a medium, like um, Chinese polypropylene smell. Uh, I don't know why, but Chinese masks have this, this smell. A lot of them are stronger than others. This one's not horrible, but for my kids, I would choose something that smelled a little bit less. After all of the other stuff that they failed, do you think they bothered to put good fabric in it? Let's see, I haven't actually looked yet, so I'm not actually sure. We're gonna do this together, you ready? <laughs> Dude, it's worse than the adult one. 86.748, 86.748.
I mean, the crazy thing is like Jennifer Garner, like she has kids. She's like promoting these masks. And it's a mask that fails like very simple parts of the standard and fails on the, uh, on, on the, on the most important part, which is the part that's gonna protect you. So the breathability on this was actually really high. That The adult mask had a breathability of 130 pascals on this machine, uh, which is pretty good. Anything under 150 pascals is, I would say, I could comfortably breathe in for eight hours. This is 180 pascals. You know, that's well above the 150 pascals. So it's not breathable and it doesn't have the filtration efficiency. All right, I think I beat up the mask C folks a little bit uh, uh, enough, but you know, this is what happens when, uh, I, I heard, it's unsubstantiated, but I heard this was like a yoga pant company uh, out of Florida that decided to get into making a medical product that needs to protect you. Um, and that's the thing, like there's just so much ignorance in this business from the people who are selling the masks that it becomes a big issue for me personally. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this uh, fun or interesting or something. I don't know why you're here. Let me know in the comments. Not gonna ask you for a like and subscribe though, because I wouldn't do that. I'm not that, that's not, that's not what I do. I'm not that needy person but I will take it. All right, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you on that next test.